What's up agents, it's Chase and J Miles. And in this video, I wanna tell you about when I quit my full-time job in retail to become a full-time real estate agent. How that went down and how much money I had when I did that. So for me personally, and I'm not quite sure about you and your situation, but I was working a job literally my whole life. So when I became able to work, so when I turned, I want to say like 15 or 16, I got my first job at Chuck E. Cheese's and it was, it was honestly one of the best jobs that I ever worked. And, and I don't know if it was because of the money that I made and how old I was. I was, I was making a good amount of money just being in high school working at Chuck E. Cheese's. So that was that was one of my favorite jobs but when I was transitioning over into real estate and becoming a real estate agent I was actually working for a cell phone company I had been working for this cell phone company for a few years um, before I decided to become a real estate agent and I've transferred stores so I've been with many different staffs across state lines but when I decided to become a real estate agent I knew that in my mind that I was going to want to quit at some point I knew that I wanted to go full-time I had read in blogs and all that kind of stuff that you really find success when you go full-time into real estate so I knew that that was going to be the goal but I also knew in my mind that it was so scary thinking about trying to quit a job. I had never really quit a job to do anything on my own full time ever in my life. So it was the scariest thing that I, I ever would have imagined, but I knew that it was the goal. I knew that I wanted to quit. I knew that I wanted to go into real estate full time, but I wasn't dumb. And so I knew that it was gonna take some time. So if you've ever worked in like a cell phone store or any type of store like that, you typically get paid commission and hourly. So you'll have your hourly that you'll make for every hour that you're there. And then based on the devices and based on the plans and all that kind of stuff that you sell and the accessories, you get paid a commission. And the commissions, you get paid that a month later. So let's just say I was working at the store and it was July. Anything that I sold in July, I didn't get paid for until August. And that's just how it worked. That's just how the commission's calculated. So me knowing that I started planning what my whole exit strategy was gonna be. I didn't just decide up in one day that I wanted to quit, but there was a point of time that went off my mind that I was just like, I don't wanna work here anymore and by such and such date, I wanna be gone. Now when I did this, I didn't base it on any transactions I had going on. I didn't base it on what was going on in my actual real estate business. I literally just picked a time and set a goal that I no longer wanted to work at this store, that I wanted to be a full-time real estate agent. And how I came about this plan was I basically calculated all my money. So in, I wanna say it was either October or November of every year, we would get two commission checks. So whereas normally you just get one commission check, the way that the, the months worked out or whatever it is, you got two commission checks this month. And so I knew that that was the month that I was gonna leave shortly after because I was gonna have two commission checks. And, and the commission checks were pretty decent. So I knew that there was gonna be that amount of money. Then I also knew that I had some money in my PTO. So PTO is paid time off and the way that the company did it to where if you left, and you didn't use your PTO, they cut you a separate check for that. So I knew that this whole year, I wasn't gonna spend any of my PTO money. I wasn't gonna do anything like that because I wanted that payout to be there. Then there was also the money that was in my 401k. Now I was young. I didn't think about rolling it over into another 401k or doing anything like that. I just knew when I left the job, I was gonna get that money that was in my 401k. And so 
Then, in addition to that, I had my hourly checks. So I had my commission checks, I had my hourly checks, I had my 401k money, and then I also had my PTO money. That was all the money collectively that I was going to be able to walk away with. Once I added all that up, I wanna say it came out to like nine or 10,000, somewhere along those lines, all combined. So I didn't get paid all of it at the same time, but that was what the final number came out to. And I was like, all right, well that can last me for a little while. That's what I was thinking in, in my head. That can last me for a little while and that's a lot of money. And so I should be all right if I cash out, if I take that money and let that boost my real estate career. That was gonna be my nest egg. So. I identified this month as being November. And this was perfect because I didn't want to work the holidays. You know when you start getting into holiday hours and they expect you to come to work the day after Thanksgiving and stay the day before Thanksgiving and it's 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 just such a big mess and I wasn't about it. I wasn't about another Black Friday sale. I didn't want to stay there late anymore. I was just over it. So I knew that I wanted to quit before the holiday season started. So I walked my happy self in the office one day and I, I straight up, I was talking to my store manager and I said, look, the time is here. And she literally goes, don't tell me you're about to quit. And I just looked like, so you want me to tell you? You don't want me to tell you. But she already knew what was up. Like I was, I was leaving because obviously they knew that I had been working and dabbling in, in or real estate and was trying to build my career and everything like that. So they already knew it, and I think that she just knew that it was a matter of time. And so yeah, I told her I was like, yeah, I'm gonna quit. And then she was like, well, are you gonna at least work through Thanksgiving? And uh, uh, I sure can't. No. I can't do it. So I handed her my letter and it was just a nicely typed letter. I went on Google or something like how to quit a job and gave her my, my letter. And, you know, of course they did that. Oh, we're going to miss you and everything like that. And it's just like, but by this time, like, oh my gosh, the weight was just off my shoulders. And I was like, Whew, I'm about to be a big boy now. I worked my last couple of weeks and then I... I, I quit the job like that was that was it I mean the moment went from a thought to actually being here but see I did everything the right way I I gave my two weeks I I didn't I didn't do anything the wrong way I didn't leave on bad terms I left with great relationships with everybody that I was there with but this was how I started my full-time real estate journey. Mm -hmm.